Turner, we want to welcome to the show the new head coach for the University of Men's basketball team, Gib Arnold. Coach, thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. And uh, I don't know if it was possible, you know, a couple of rough seasons for the UH uh, basketball team, a new coach, and you've already got uh, a lot of excitement generated with this recruiting class. Are you surprised at how well you've done recruiting-wise, considering you got a late start and you just got hired? You know, it was uh, a little bit difficult in just the time frame we had. We had about uh, 60 days to put this whole class together, which normally you want to you want to start uh, recruiting guys two years in advance, usually. Um, but, uh, you know, the pool that we had was a little bit smaller for basketball. But in that pool, I think we were able to reach out and get some pretty good guys. So we're kind of excited about it. Yeah. I mean, did, were you impressed? I mean, we even simply, after you were like, oh, whoa, I can't believe I pulled this off. Or did you exceed your expectations? Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, we, we aren't trying to put any limits on our expectations. But... Uh, I felt that, uh, again, in the time frame we had, it was, it was, a, it was a good group and a, and a solid group. And I like the fact that it's young, we, you know, four freshmen, three sophomores. So these guys are going to be with us for the next three to four years, and hopefully we can build a program with these guys. And that is something that the University of Hawaii basketball team, they've always gone to JC route. Mm -hmm. So we've only had these players for a couple of years, and some of our best teams, they were guys that came uh -huh. in young. And we're going to be looking at some uh, B-roll. A lot of these guys that we see here, aren't going to be on the team, of course. Uh, there's been a lot of transition, a, a lot of movement on the team itself. Looking at the roster you got coming in, what kind of basketball are the Rainbow Warriors going to be playing? What kind of basketball is Gib Arnold going to be uh, putting on the floor? You know, it's, it's, um, it's still to be determined a little bit. I mean, we only have, uh, I think, nine points and three rebounds coming back <laughs> off of last year's team. So I don't think we're going to win many games with scoring nine right, and three. Right. But, uh, well, it depends on your defense. Yeah, exactly. Unless we can hold the other team to eight, yeah. we'll be okay. And I think we'll, they'll probably score a little more than that. But, right. You know, I'd like to. You know, as we get deeper and as we get into uh, the second and third recruiting class, which we will, uh, I believe we will be able to play uh, an up-tempo style. But uh, that's still to be determined. Once we get these guys together and see who's uh, ready to step in and play Division One basketball at a high level, that'll that'll determine a little bit of our tempo, especially on the offensive side. Are you the type of coach that takes a group of players and, and kind of develops a game plan around that, or do you have a plan that you, you, that you, put, your, that you put your players into? You know what? I, I think I'll probably more adapt a little bit to my players. We'll have a foundation, especially defensively, of how we want to play. Um, but on the offensive side, you, you, you better – you know, I've worked with three NBA head coaches, and the one thing they did teach me is you better understand who your talent is mm -hmm. and uh, where their strengths are and uh, try to get the ball to, uh, to those guys' hands as much as possible. And, and match up your strengths against their weaknesses. So, so we'll, we'll do that. And obviously, the deeper you get, the faster you want to play. And uh, I think that will come over time as well. Now, you mentioned you want to get that second, that third recruiting class in. Yeah. At what point do you think UH fans could – when do you think – when do you want them to start judging the job that you've done? Of course, you've you got to give you a couple of seasons there. When sure. do you think that uh, you can be held accountable for the recruits you brought in and the product you're putting on the floor? Well, you know, I think I'm held accountable from the day I accepted the job, mm -hmm. quite honestly, and, and how we do it. And the first phase of that was this recruiting class. And then – Obviously, you want to get these young guys in and acclimated to Division One basketball. None of them scored a point or gotten a rebound. So it's going to be a learning curve for them as well as me. I mean, I'm a rookie coach in this, in, in this level as well. So I think once we grow together and, and then, again, we get that second and third class when it's, when it's our guys, then, then uh, you know, that's the teams that we hope to be, uh, to, to be moving in the right direction and continue now, to move. Now, last question. We were talking about uh, this during the commercial break. Uh, you spent uh, a pretty important part of your life here in Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, you, of course, uh, graduated from Punahou, uh, uh -huh. junior, senior years there. Yep. What's it mean? I mean, really, what does it mean to come back and, and to be here in Hawaii and to, and to be the head coach of this team? You know, it's, it's been phenomenal. And, uh, you know, I was only here a short time, but you, uh, you never really leave Hawaii. I mean, um, my closest friends are here. Uh, some of the greatest memories of my life. Well, I was 16, 17, 18. Now, those are some pretty good times. Right, so, right. So uh, it, it's great to be back. And, and our family uh, uh, is so excited to move back. And uh, more than anything, I just wanted my kids to have the same experience I did when I was, when I was living here. Well, welcome back to Hawaii. It's good to be back. Really appreciate it. Thanks. And, you know, you get a chance to meet the coach and the new staff up close. There's a summer camp coming up now. It's uh, June 21st to 24th. It's a great chance uh, for the, the kids to get out there, expose to the new program, some of the players. And if you're interested, why don't you contact us, 956-6501. Contact University of Hawaii there. Just ask for, uh, I believe it's Johnny White there. And uh, you can email him as well or just check out hawaiiathletics.com. We'll be right back with traffic and weather on the fours. Go Rainbow Warriors.